Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial on this ultra hot day. Yeah, and this video is a follow up to the last video I did. Which one? Well, this uh, stupid AI, which was Walker. So basically, we're walking from left to the right, and now we're updating it a little bit. So basically, it's a little bit of the same, but a little bit different. Yeah, and we're gonna adapt that quickly quickly and easily so if you have watched the last video you will feel at home at this one so if you like what you're seeing consider subscribing sharing liking and commenting to show youtube that that stuff is actually relevant to you guys so let's get started so basically what we have we had last time we had our snail guy and then we gave it a oh, let's kill all that because already painted here let's paint a new and we gave our snail a direction which was zero and then i don't know some speed and then this dude was yay let's go right and then what we did at the next thing come on i need to get used to this program then we had this object which had a arrow which you don't see now damn it and then <laughs> what was happening um, it was bumping into it, then I say, okay, change my direction to a left, which is then 180, because we are uh, counting in uh, 360 as degrees, and then flip the image X scale from 1 to minus 1, and then bam, we go to a box which is over here, and then once again, we flip the image X scale and go right. And this is what's hap what was happening last time. So that was, that was it, and then therefore you see, bam, go a different direction, and then bam, go a different direction, and then flip the image X scale. Easy peasy stuff. And now what we're gonna do is, well, because this thing is a little bit different, we first of all just say, hey, image X scale flip, and then only once. And then what we do, we bam, go uh, bump into this guy and go down. But we first of all, not just go down, we, ooh, it looks a little bit flat we turn him around also and then bam and then turn him around and this is how we do the movement and then well we go around all the time so how can you do this well quite easy and last time what i did was not uh, well let's call it not very efficient because i'm having the checks inside those boxes which is a bad habit you shouldn't be doing this but i thought like this is a little bit more plastic for you guys because now what I do, I'm having my snail, which I call that now snail 2, and the collisions are not inside those, I don't know, go left, go right, because as you can see, now they're empty. They're just empty objects which you just place on your invisible layer here, so, you know, so the player doesn't really see them. And then we are having all the collisions inside our snail, and therefore it is more efficient. Why? Well, because you're having four collisions, or one dude which is having collision checks, Therefore, this is definitely more efficient. So, yeah. And let's go, for example, we want to go left. So what do we need to understand is, which basically we just need to understand, hey, image angle, zero, direction, 180. So sweet. So basically, we go to this guy, and then once we bump the first time into the right, because, well, the initializing is zero, so we go here, bam. Then we say, hey, direction 180, and then my image angle zero, which is the default one. And then we go in here, and then bam, we bump into this guy here, and then we say, hey, we want to go down. So what's inside the go down code? Well, kind of easy. So we just say, hey, direction 270. So this is the direction for going downwards. Sweet. And then we just give it an image angle of 90 so basically 90 degrees plus and this is what we're gonna get inside of here and then a little thing you need to understand this let's zoom in a little bit you will see a little dot in here so for example once i rotate it it will rotate along this origin point this is kind of important that you set it up here so our snail guy bottom center it will rotate then correctly and therefore you need to do it at the bottom center and then why is that for example is why is there a distance well for example if i would be put in the grid for example if i would be having the collision with the snail 
directly here, what would be happening? So basically we're, have, we're having our snail, it bumps into this guy and says, okay, let's go downwards and flip. As you can see, ooh, we are clipping through. Therefore, we need to have half of the width of the snail as a distance to the to this uh, check box or this direction object, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how they're actually called. So this object, which is basically sending the snail to its destination. Therefore here, bam, and we can turn around. And then we're going downwards. Sweet. Next collision saying like, hey, flip again. So we are having an image angle of 180. Let's check if that is correct. Of course it's correct because I did it a few times. So let's go. Uh, downwards as you can see uh -huh, direction 90 image angle 90 and here that was this one i'm actually talking the wrong one so here we go to the right so go right then direction zero which is to the right and then image angle which is 180 so we are having 180 uh -huh, because well zero would be this and 180 Okay, works fine with me. Then we're hitting this dude here and then we say, hey, once again, rotated me. And then what? Well, we are almost, we are three quarters of a circle. So that's 270 or minus 90. It's the same value. And then of course, a direction of 90, which is upwards. Let's check, go up, yep. Direction 90 and minus 90 or 270, doesn't really matter. It's the same and then, well, we do and flip it and here what you uh, what the little difference is that for example we never change our image x scale because on this guy he always needs to well do this and but here we don't actually need it and therefore you just need to change the direction where to go and well it's rotation this is just basically it easy easy to understand and then well you can have a little bit more complex structure so you can uh, do something go around here it's not just a rectangle like this and of course there are a little bit more uh, advanced ways where you are near here and then you don't instantly turn around but you do it a little bit slowly so you can refine it if you like but this is um, i guess the most easy way i could describe this to you guys so hopefully that was of interest to you and now you can make the second stupid AI, which is used kind of a lot in video games. So yeah, have a good one. One up indie.